If you're going to take up cooking, then the first thing you need is some good cookware. Tofi, can you show us the key pieces that everyone should have in their kitchen? Everyone should have a fry pan. Very heavy. Very heavy. <laughs> One is searing. It's also used for tossing vegetables in a pan. This 1810 stainless steel, mm -hmm. one, doesn't transfer any flavor, and two, is very, very durable. Okay. The other pan that you should have is a saute pan, okay. which is that one there. they look very similar. They look very similar. Okay. The difference being that fry pan has rounded sides, yeah. saute pan has straight sides. So this, you're not, you're not going to be able to toss right. because you have the straight sides. Like a stir fry or something. Yeah, this is more for braising or slow cooking, simmering. Okay. Um, and also, with the fry pan, you can get spatula in here, mm -hmm. with the saute pan. It's more, a lot more difficult. difficult. Is it true that if you heat up your pan first, things shouldn't stick? Yes. When the pan is hot, it becomes more of a non-stick coat. <laughs> what are your favorites? Um, I really like the swilling line, and the important thing to note is they are a clad construction. This is a cutaway of this pan here. Okay. So you have stainless steel on the inside. Yeah. You have stainless steel on the outside. Then you have three layers of aluminum sandwiched inside. Now you notice the thickness of the pan is the same all the way through, yeah. so you will get that even heat all the way up the side. Stainless steel is very good at maintaining its shine. Mm -hmm. This is 1810 stainless steel, so there's no transfer of flavor. The benefits of aluminum are it heats up quicker mm -hmm. and it has great heat dispersion. That consistent heat across the entire surface of the pan, and with this one, it encompasses the pan in the heat because it's all, so you have heat from all the way around. Okay. Now, okay, wait a minute. You now, you have to tell me, when I'm going out and I'm going to buy new cookware, how much should I spend? Well, a rule of thumb is spend as much as you can afford okay. and spend according to how much you're going to cook. If you're okay. going to cook once a month, don't spend a lot. If you want to take this seriously or as a hobby, spend a little bit more money because the way your pans perform will affect your cooking and if you get a better product, you're going to want to cook more. Okay. Okay, now what's this guy over here? Now, this is called a saucier, mm -hmm. and now this has sloped sides. With this pan, the whisk can get right into the corner, so if you're doing a lot of desserts, a lot of custards and things, you might want a pan like this. It's kind of like a bowl with a handle. Exactly. This handle, two things about it. One, there's no rivets on the inside of the pan, yeah. as you can see, so when, you're, when you take your spatula to clean out your pan, you've got nothing in the way mm -hmm. of getting everything out of the pan. It's also better for sanitation because yeah. it's very difficult to clean around those I like rivets. That idea. Especially with something that cooks for a long time. You know how you go to pick up your pen and yeah. it's really, really ah. hot, the handle's yeah. hot. And you um, need your oven mitts. And you need your oven mitts to hold a pan that's on the stove. With this, you won't. Because of this V, it cools the heat and then you have a very cool handle. Great. Now, I noticed you were using this um, stainless steel utensil. Is it okay to use it? Absolutely. It's not going to scratch? The stainless steel will not scratch. Oh, okay. Interesting. And now the other essential pot to have would be a stock pot. The great thing about the steamer insert is it has a silicone seal. Oh. So when you put it on your pot, no steam escapes from here. It doesn't seep out the side. It comes through here. And you can stack these. Because it's so efficient, you could get three, four steamers and steam different vegetables. We also have a pasta insert for that pan as well. Okay. So now you don't need all of these, but just a few of the key ones. Yes. Um, you would need fry pan, your saute pan, one of these, mm -hmm. and a stock pot. If you were me, you would, <laughs> you would want all of them for sure. Because they're so durable and they're going to last so long, I could pass these on to my children or even my grandchildren. Do you have all of these? I don't, but I wish I did. <laughs>